Morris with Conservation Tips. I'm dressed this way today because I'm looking for our energy leeches on a resident's home. Did energy leeches catch your attention? What if I said uh, vampire power or phantom power? Because in your home, when you're asleep, when you're gone, anytime there are appliances in your home that are drawing small amounts of electricity and raising your bills. So let's go look for some. Ah, here's a good example that we find these in most people's homes. This is a really good example for a phantom power user. This is an older TV, but it has an instant on feature so that when you turn that switch, you've got picture. It's right now drawing energy because that instant on draws some juice, small amount of juice, but still it's here. Any of these appliances that are hooked to the television, as we see here, we've got a DVD player, you might have a VCR player, you might have a converter box to get the new TV channels and stuff, and you might have a game box of some sort that you play. All of these things, if you've got lights that are, that are burning right now or a clock that's on, they're drawing phantom power, and that's what we're talking about in this tip. So how do you stop that phantom power? Well, the easiest thing, if you can, is unplug the appliance. That stops it, bar none. Now, if you have an office situation like this, where you might have a shredder, a printer, a computer, and what have you, why not plug all of them into a power strip so all I got to do then is flip the switch on the power strip, and these things are not operating. They're not drawing energy when you're not using them. Now, if you've got something like a wireless router that you want, you know, access to all the time, we well, better leave that plugged into a hot socket. But that's the way we can stop these appliances from leaching off your precious energy. Now, another place to find a lot of appliances that can draw some power when not in use, of course, is in the kitchen. Uh, one of the culprits, of course, is your microwave. This particular one here is hardwired, so you're not going to be able to unplug that. But if you can, unplug it, or else it's just a very expensive clock. Now, there's other appliances that are plugged in, that, you know, like coffee makers, what have you, that may be drawing some power. Unplug those, too. You know, it's a very simple thing to do. Now, if you've got some battery charging going on in the kitchen, like for, say, your power tools, what have you, you may have some chargers like this laying around. And the idea with these chargers is just watch the lights, and when they go to full charge, Pull the battery out and use it. Then you unplug this because by leaving it plugged in, you can warm this transfer. It'll lessen the life of the charger. As if you leave this battery in all the time, they're all hot, it'll lessen the life of this battery too. And these are really expensive. Now, if you know when you're going to be charging this, say you're a, you have a small business and use these appliances on a regular basis, you might get a power strip like this. It actually has a timer on it so that you can time when it's going to be coming on and going off. Now, in the bathroom, you may be using a rechargeable uh, automatic toothbrush like this. And uh, they, you, see, you think that, well, I've got to put this in every night and get a charge on it. Well, just try it sometime. I'll see how long you can go without charging it. I can go about two weeks with this one. And then when it finally wears down, I get the charger out, plug it in, charge it back up. Now, if you don't like this unplugging and plugging, there's a nice little switch like this that you can purchase that plugs into the wall. And you just can turn it off and on like that. And that'll save you a lot of time and also stop that phantom power. Now all these appliances use small amounts of electricity, but you know, add it up in your own home. You know, magnify the situation a bit. You know, we got two TVs, two VCRs, you know, some games, you know, some cell phone chargers. You know, it may be $25 to $50 per year. But think about it, if everybody in Columbia has these things going, how much more energy we need to provide you know, to take care of our needs, take care of our basics. So we want to save money for our customers, we want to save energy, we want to save the environment. This is Dave Morris at Conservation Tips. Go save some energy and unplug Columbia. See you next time.